Japan approves first experiments with human and animal embryos July 30, 2019 The Japanese stem cell scientist is the first to receive government support to create animal embryos that contain human cells and transplant them into renal animals. Since the ban on the practice was lifted earlier this year, Japan approves first experiments with human and animal embryos. A Japanese scientist plans to insert human cells into mouse embryos. Photo credit Science Pictures Limited slash SPL Hiramitsu Nikachi, who heads teams at the University of Tokyo and Stanford University, California, plans to grow human cells in rat and mouse embryos and then transplant these embryos into surrogate animals. Nikachi's ultimate goal is to produce animals with organs made from human cells that can eventually be transplanted to people. Until March, Japan explicitly prohibited the growth of animal embryos containing human cells beyond 14 days or the transplantation of such embryos into a surrogate uterus. That month, Japan's Ministry of Education and Science issued new guidelines allowing the creation of human and animal embryos that can be transplanted into surrogate animals and brought to term. Human-animal hybrid embryos were manufactured in countries like the United States, but never came to an end. Although the country allows this type of research, the National Institutes of Health has had a moratorium on funding this work since 2015. Nikachi's experiments are the first to be approved under Japan's new rules by a committee of experts in the Ministry of Science. Final ministry approval is expected next month. Nikachi says he plans to continue slowly and will not try to carry any hybrid embryos for a while. Initially, he plans to cultivate embryos of hybrid mice up to 14.5 days when the animal's organs are mainly formed and is almost full term. He will do the same experiments on mice, growing the hybrids in the short term, about 15.5 days. Nikachi later plans to apply for government approval to grow hybrid embryos in pigs for up to 70 days. Scientific policy researcher Tetsuya Ishii of Hokkaido University in Sapporo, Japan says, It is good to follow step by step carefully, which will make it possible to have a dialogue with the audience which is feeling anxious and worried. Ethical concerns Some bioethicists are concerned that human cells may go beyond the development of the target organ, travel to the developing animal's brain and potentially affect its cognition. Nikachi says these concerns were taken into account in the design of the experiment. He said, We are trying to generate targeted organs so that the cells will only go to the pancreas. The strategy he and other scientists are exploring is to create an animal embryo that lacks a gene needed to produce a particular organ, such as the pancreas and then inject human-induced pluripotent stem cells IPS into the animal embryo. IPS cells are those that have been reprogrammed to an embryonic-like state and can give rise to almost all cell types. As the animal develops, it uses human IPS cells to produce the organ, which it cannot produce with its own cells. In 2017, Nikachi and his colleagues reported injecting IPS cells from mice into the embryo of a rat unable to produce a pancreas. The mouse formed a pancreas made entirely of mouse cells. Nikachi and his team transplanted the pancreas back into a mouse that was designed to have diabetes. The organ produced in mice was able to control blood sugar levels, effectively curing the diabetes mouse one. But growing human cells in another species is not easy. Nikachi and his colleagues announced at the 2018 meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science in Austin, Texas, that they had placed human IPS cells in cheap embryos that had been designed not to produce a pancreas. But the hybrid embryos, grown for 28 days, contain very few human cells and nothing like organs. This is probably due to the genetic distance between humans and sheep, says Nikachi. It makes no sense to terminate human-animal hybrid embryos using evolutionarily distant species, such as pigs and sheep, because human cells will be eliminated from host embryos early on, says Junior Wu, who researches human and animal chimeras at the University Southwestern Medical Center from Texas in Dallas. Wu says, understanding the molecular basis and developing strategies to overcome this barrier will be necessary to advance the field. Nikachi says approval in Japan will allow him to attack this problem. He will experiment with subtly different stage IPS cells and experiment with some genetically engineered IPS cells to try to determine what limits human cell growth in animal embryos.